Swadikap from Chiang Mai, Thailand. It's a beautiful night here. The weather up here in Chiang Mai is great. It actually reminds me of uh, California weather. Not humid, not hot. It's nice and cool. And that's one of my favorite things about uh, Chiang Mai is the weather, especially during this time of the year. You get to escape all the hot and humid weather of Bangkok. And up here too, it's pretty chill. I'm staying in the Neiman area of uh, Chiang Mai. It's the more hip, more modern area. And um, I'm just walking around the neighborhood right now to find some dessert. I just had a great uh, early dinner earlier. Ate some ka kao mu, uh, kao ka mu, kao ka mu which is the uh, braised pork leg. And um, I didn't have dessert, so now I'm trying to find some dessert. Um, this is a neighborhood spot, it's residential, it's very suburban. And if you guys never been to Chiang Mai before, Chiang Mai is a lot less developed than Bangkok. It's a slower vibe, it's more chill, and uh, people here just take their time. Life here is more like just take your time, just relax. Um, there's all kinds of stuff, you know, like this neighborhood, there's a bunch of laundry uh, shops that you can get your laundry done, washed, folded, and um, done for you. So super cool. And, you know, it's not as crazy as Bangkok. Um, during the past couple days, during the Loy Krathong Festival, that was crazy. There were so many people here. Everything was super busy, super packed. But now that it's over, uh, it's as if the festival never happened and everything has returned back to normal. You guys can see it's just walking down through a neighborhood, small neighborhood, walking down the streets and there's shops and restaurants everywhere. There's some good smelling food. I'm pretty full for regular food, so I am looking for desserts. So there's bars, there's little lounges, there's barber shops, there's coffee shops, there's little restaurants here and there. A little bit of everything, staying in the neighborhood area just like this. And I'm walking towards a 7-Eleven and um, there's a guy that makes roti, their dessert roti there. Uh, I've stayed in this area before, that's why I'm a little bit familiar with it. And uh, I've had, I remember this guy, and he made some pretty good roti. Not the best I've ever had, but it's still really good. And he makes a pretty cool croissant style roti that's like super crispy. It's shaped like a croissant and um, it's really cool. I'm looking forward to having it again. Roti is one of my favorite dessert, favorite sweet items here in uh, Thailand in general. So. You know, I never get tired of it. Everyone's uh, going home or going out to find a spot to eat and see some traffic. As you can see, traffic is not crazy. It's not super busy, but there's just enough traffic. And that's the 7-Eleven that I'm trying to get to. We're just going to cross the street carefully. It's not as crazy as uh, Vietnam. Vietnam's crazy. And there's the roti guy. He's here, he's still here. A year later, I'm back and he's still here. So we're gonna, this is the roti man that I've been to last year and we're gonna order some roti, especially that croissant right there. And I don't know the exact streets of this corner, but I'll try to find it and I'll leave it in the description of the video, but he's in front of a 7-Eleven and uh, his booth is right there back there so we're gonna go to order some Got the roti right there ready some margin in there some butter and bananas being chopped up nice put inside the roti and then it's going to get wrapped I believe into like a little twisted shape Getting nice here. Looks pretty cool. Oh. 
There we go. Nice folded. This is the cool part, you guys. Watch. As you can see, it starts poking up. Lots of goodness inside. And now it's starting to get into a shape of a croissant. Starting to get nice and brown. Cool technique. Smelling so good already. I cannot wait. Uh, once the roti croissant is done, it gets chopped right over there, just like so. And then, um, I believe there's going to be condensed milk on top, and uh, it's going to be just chai. It's going to be super good. And if you guys didn't know what chai means, chai means uh, yes, roti croissant or croissant roti with banana and condensed milk look at that super crispy and the best part is you guys roti croissant was only 25 baht so 25 baht that's like about 80 cents um, if my rough math is correct um, it's about right now the current uh, rate is like 35 uh, bought to one dollar so 25 baht that's like 75 cents 75 80 cents super cheap uh, relatively speaking because the uh, american dollar is a bit strong but i'm going to try to find a spot so i can put this camera on and uh, try this out because i'm super excited i cannot wait uh, let's see if we can find a place to post up There we go, made it. All right, you guys. I know I'm a little bit far. There you go. Check that out. This is the thing about, you know, being solo traveler. There's no one to hold your camera for you. So it's a little more challenging, but we make it work, right? All right, cheers, you guys. Mmm. That is so good. This is like you. Perfect late night dessert snack all over town. Look at that, you guys. Yeah. Mm. Crispy. Bananas is, is ripe. Just ripe, not overly ripe. And the condensed milk adds another layer of sweetness to this dessert. Man, one of my favorite things. There you guys go. Guys, if you notice my eyes going that way, so I'm not used to looking at the front facing camera uh, yet. I'm trying to get used to it, but I'm so used to just like uh, looking at the back camera. Um, so it's a little weird for me because I get to see myself and the camera, so my eyes tend to wander that way. But man, this thing is so good, I might just get another one. So if you're ever in this area, I would highly recommend just, you know, checking out, getting some roti, because not all roti is the same. I don't know about you guys, but I like my roti with a little bit of crispiness to it. Otherwise, it's just like very plain and normal to me. But that's the great thing about here, yes. There's like so much good food, cheap food, street food that you can get any time of the day. And little neighborhood vendors, little neighborhood shops just like this, I love it. Love to support locals. And just like that, you guys, I'm done. It's so good. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind another one, but today I'm just going to control myself and have only one because I can always come back for another one. 
Man, that was good. I'm actually really, really tempted to get another one, but I do have some fruits back at home. So let's go on the way back. <clears throat> so this is what I like, you guys. This is the, all the neighborhood shops. It just feels lively. It feels like you're just part of the being locals and, you know, you support all the local community. And uh, I don't know, there's just no better feeling than that, right? Um, you don't get that kind of stuff in the States because the States have a lot of regulations and, you know, it's all about the money back there. So you don't really get the neighborhood vendor, neighborhood uh, restaurant, or neighborhood cook uh, selling out of their house or selling out of a little uh, food cart or, you know, just a little stall, which is what I really miss when I'm back home in the States um, because it's just a different vibe, you know, and it just feels more lively or like there's more there's life to the city or to the neighborhoods here versus back home like i'm in the house most of the time because i work from home so other than going out to maybe eat or hang out with friends once in a while there's not much else to do but when you're in a town like chiang mai bangkok or you're in asia in general there's always something to do and um, you never get bored and you have the choice to go out and do something if you want to or you can just stay home and focus on work right so i'll give you an example of my schedule ever since i've been here i still work from home right i work most of the time but there's always something different there's always something to do every weekend there's an event uh, especially in bangkok bangkok it's crazy there's a event all over town every single week um, and you know there's just so much to do so I really enjoy my time being out here that's why like I'm moving out here um, at some point soon in the near future um, because life is short you guys so if you're considering or thinking about going somewhere or just uh, trying to think about traveling long term traveling for a month or two and but you're unsure and you're a little hesitant to do it i'm just trying to cross the street you guys just gotta be careful while I'm filming at the same time i don't want to get uh, crushed by a motorbike which most likely i won't get over here because uh, drivers over here actually slow down or stop for you um, compared to Vietnam they just keep going so in Vietnam you got to be way more careful but as I was saying you guys if you have been thinking about wanting to travel for like a month two months three months or even longer than that or if there's been something in you telling you to like just go live in another country just go do it you guys life is short you never know what's going to happen tomorrow and uh, there's no guarantee so you know like I always I like to live my life and I always like to tell people like live with no regrets you know what I mean do it because you never know what's going to happen so uh, might as well just do it knowing that right and it's so cheap over here it's, it's easy it's good living you guys um, other than that I'm gonna walk back to my hotel not my hotel my, uh, my Airbnb my condo to get back to work I know it's a little dark over here right now if you guys and I enjoyed this vlog be sure to hit the like and leave a comment on uh, something I or any recommendations I should do or check out in uh, Thailand I would love to check out more spots get to know more of like what locals do and um, be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay um, up to date with my weekly vlogs and last but not least if you made it this far Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And uh, I just hope you enjoyed and gained some insight on uh, what Asia or what Thailand is all about. So 
Um, other than that, I'll see you on the next episode. Peace, guys.